Hey you guys, so I wanted to step out of the shower and have better lighting so you guys can get a better look at how my wash and go came out. So it's obviously not dry, but I'm going to do a 360 turn and you can clearly see that there is a lot of definition, moisture and shine has a lot of bounce to it. And those are all key factors that we look for in a wash and go, right? So I ended up incorporating the LLC method. So for my leave-in, I ended up using Ovia's Naturals curl moisture cream for the oil or the oil i ended up using their argon oil and for the cream i ended up using the curl enhancing custard i'm looking at the name of the products that's what i'm looking at my hair is not dry yet i do want to show you guys over time how the style comes out and i would say for any style in general technique and the product obviously are the two key factors but when it comes to a wash and go you definitely want to Work those products in on soaking wet hair because that is what's going to achieve most definition. And another thing is my hair, I always told you guys, the front half, most importantly uh, in front of the ears when I part it horizontally. Here and here are my troubled areas where it's harder for me to achieve definition. So what I do is I just flat twist it right here right before the ears and once my hair is completely dry usually by day two or day three i will unloose it and just blend it in with the wash and go as it expands over time one other thing is how your hair looks while it's wet is how your hair is supposed to look when it sets and dries so it's very important that whatever products you're using you make sure it looks the way you want it to look before your hair dries. So if you're doing a twist out or wash and go and you see it's still puffy at the roots, maybe you need to run some more water and some more product in that area. So that's all I wanted to say because I thought that was kind of important. Hey guys, so this is day two of my wash and go. So last night I literally just laid a satin scarf over my pillow and fell asleep. Obviously when I woke up it was a little limp in some places, but I didn't do any manipulation to my hair other than just teasing it just a little with my hands this is the expansion of my wash and go on its own no water no misting anything i just want to see how it expands on its own let me do a quick 360 turn you guys can see the curls are still defined it just expanded a little bit and it shrunk but shrinking is a sign of elasticity which is a sign of healthy hair because curls it's springy and shrink but anyways i do guys i do want to show you guys my flat twist i told you guys usually by day two or three that's when i take it out so i took it out and i just left one out literally in the front you can see how bouncy and springy it is it's i love that little one dna looking curl but tonight i am either going to sleep on a satin pillowcase again or i'm sorry a satin scarf or I'm probably going to try the pineapple, but instead of, you know, ponytailing it, I'm going to probably just flip it up and then put a scarf over it just to stretch my hair a bit. But I'll definitely let you guys know by day three. Hey guys, I am now on day three of my wash and go. So last night I did end up trying the pineapple method. It's been months, maybe well over a year since I've tried one. Minus the hair ties and scrunchies, I literally just pulled my hair to the front of my head and tied my satin scarf on. And today when I took it down, I literally just did a little bit of tugging and pulling with my hands to get it back in its shape that it originally had. Didn't use any water, didn't mist it, didn't use any products to refresh. This is literally my hair straight out of the satin scarf. I'm gonna do a quick 360 turn so you guys can see the results. I noticed with the pineapple method it did allow a little bit of stretching and I do see a little bit more volume so my hair is expanding naturally on its own without me doing over excessive picking and hair manipulation and adding more products on top of my hair. My scalp still feels clean but this is definitely just a quick update and we'll see. Hey guys, I'm officially on day four of my wash and go. Another quick update. I'm gonna do a 360 spin so you guys can see how it looks. I think the most major change you can see throughout the days is that I'm getting more volume. I think by day two or day three, the main notice, the main thing I noticed was the length. It definitely gave it a little stretch, but now I'm noticing more volume. Still have a little bit of definition, which is cool. I've been doing the same nighttime routine literally been doing the pineapple method minus the scrunchies and hair ties i'm just pulling my hair forward tying it into my satin scarf when i take it out each day i just kind of 
use my handy dandy fingers to kind of tease it and get it back into its normal shape. So still, no tools, no refreshers, no products. At least I know my watch and go is still running up and strong. It's in full effect. That is awesome.